Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 4th of 2022. Well, it is titled Tau Herculids from Space. So what do we see here? Well, here is an image taken just a few days ago. And on May 31st, we saw many meteors occur it was part of a meteor shower known as the Tau Herculids. Now meteor showers are named from the constellation from which they appear to radiate here on Earth. And if we look at them, they will all point back into the same direction. And that's because as we see they are all traveling parallel through space. They are all part of the same comet in this case. And as the comet orbits pieces of debris are left behind in that orbit. Now they don't just sit there they continue to orbit the sun just as the comet did. So the comet's orbit becomes strewn with debris. And as Earth passes through that cometary orbit, it picks up the material. And that's what we see as little streaks of, mat of material here burning up in Earth's upper atmosphere. And it is all tied up to in that being part of that comet. So the fact that they're all traveling together. Now occasionally in an image like this, you'll also see one going at an odd angle. Those are usually called a sporadic meteor. They're not associated with that specific comet, or maybe associated with the very light remnants of a meteor what, what might have been a meteor shower a long long time ago many thousands of years or tens of thousands of years which is now since pretty much fizzled out and there's not much left to it but you still get the occasional sporadic meteor and here we are actually seeing it from space so not looking at it from earth this is about a five minute long observation allowing to see a good number of meteors that were seen here near about the peak of the shower it was a relatively strong shower this year uh, because we were going through a stream of debris from a comet that had been disintegrating. So it was lots of material there. Unfortunately, not a lot of bright meteors. But here we see a number of them easily seen from space and in fact would have been far too faint to have been picked up from Earth. So not all meteors can be seen. It's only the brighter ones that we can see actually from Earth. The ones that are bright enough for us to be able to detect images like this and observations from space can allow us to see far more in terms of the number of meteors here that we see as compared to with what we would have seen down on Earth. So that was our picture of the day for June 4th of 2022. It was titled Tau Herculids from Space. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Gravity's Dance. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.